What's up, you two? This is Fortress Striker, and I'm here with my good friend Matthew. And today he's here to represent a deck profile of his that he's been dying to make for a while. Uh, what is it? It's a Nurse Burn OTK FTK deck. All right. So why do you want to make this deck? I I, I got the materials, most of it, until I found some of the last ones I really need, and then the hardest cards are. I'll show you in a minute. I'll start with the traps is the most difficult ones because some of them are actually hard to get because they're really old and you have to actually collect it from the beginning to get them. And you know Konami does that. They actually screw things up all to make it legit and almost easy. Alright, let's see what you got. Easy to win, sorry. Alright, that's fine. So let's see what you have. Alright, for the traps, you got the three on uh, try and guess. This is the card I've been talking about. This is a really hard and pain, you know, about that uh, I'm trying to build for this one. Because Try and Guess is only um, a one-time print of a Prima Region Booster Pack, which is difficult to get. What it does is, uh, if you have, uh, if each player has an extra deck, you declare one of the three types, XCs, Singles, and Fusions. And if the player has the most, uh, gains 3,000 life points. And uh, I'll show you in a minute about my exes. Anyway, that's the ones for the traps. And the other traps is three bad reaction to Samachi. Same thing like the nurse, we figure the follow one, aka uh, Dark Lord Nurse with Fickle. Any life points that you gain actually takes damage instead. Continuous trap. Next is the three gift cards, one of the old ones, hard to get and find. And three more, three paths of destiny. Now this is a flip coin toss. So if you have the nurse with fickle or the trap card, which is uh, that's emoji. Yeah, yeah <coughs> bad action. It's a, it's actually oh, it's a double whammy farm, based no matter what. Next is uh, my monsters. Three nurse with fickle. The follow one also is dark lord. Nurse with fickle. Well, it's pronounced refugee. Yeah, because Konami switches names a lot. This right. one, uh, that's and hard. your accent. So, but no, no complaints. <laughs> Next is the hard cards to get because a lot of people can't get them because they're too expensive. But for me, I managed to get it. I get these two: Power of Dire Power of Desires, which people really, really don't like very much. <laughs> Trust me, I know that feeling. Anyway, those three. Next is the um, uh, Duralis. You know, at the search. Next is uh, three. Card of Demise. The most broken car up <laughs> when it came up, I had a hard time getting it because it's a really, really good card. Hopefully, it doesn't get hit by the bandits coming up soon. Two dark world dealings, uh, plus one, I think, right? It's a, uh, it's not bad. Yeah, that's a good. And uh, three, another old card called Magical Mallet. That's like reload, but you can actually choose the cards from your hand to switch to your deck and shuffle and out your hand, so... Better than reload. Yeah. And of course, three reloads. Yeah. Yep. And uh, three, another hard card to find is Into the Void. Ulties at least. Yep. All three of them. That's pretty nice. And three, Cup of Ace. That one uh, is a really hard card to do, uh, but it's still pretty good. Basically, it just does the effect where you only get to flip a coin, and one, only you and your opponent gets the draw, depending on which side. If you get heads, you draw two cards. If you don't, the opponent does, instead of five tails. <laughs> Next one is Upstart Goblin, and last one is Bad Day, I mean, one, one day a piece. To, to, well, it is a bad day a piece for them. <laughs> That's what you should call it. And for my uh, extra deck, which implies to uh, um, try and guess, is a difficult card to have. Meaning, uh, here are these three monsters. One Xyz, one uh, Synchro, and one Fusion. I, uh, most players online I saw, um, they do it the opposite way. Because they, I think that's how you do it. Um, you need to have one each to activate the effect for it. So, what try and guess is that if they call it wrong, you special them, right? Well, how they use it wrong is they have the opposite monster. They put like fusions, like 15 monsters, or XCs, or that. Oh, so they, have to, so they have to guess what you have in the extra deck. But do you have to, do you have to reveal them? Yes. Oh, okay. But um, I don't get it. Do you have to actually... Um, well, like, well, uh, the, the effect says here, for those who don't read it, is the effect is, if each player has an extra deck, declare an extra deck monster card type, either Fusion, Synchro, or Xe. Both players reveal their extra deck, and the player who has more cards 
of the declare card type gains 3,000 life points. So, meaning like what it means, like I understand. I understand. I'll just tell what they're saying to the viewers that basically uh, whoever has the most cards in the extra deck, depending on, on any of the type at least, no matter what, uh, whoever has the most gains the 3,000. But with your reficule, if they gain the 3,000, they're gonna take 3,000 damage instead. So you're just you only want to play like, a few amounts, so that way they have no choice. So technically, you just like see what types they have. Like they have more fusions than you, more singles than you, or more X's than you. Then they gain the 3,000. But with Refuge or Samochi, they get the 3,000 damage instead. That's how the trying gets worse. Yeah. Some decks may not have extra decks, so that's a little challenging. So, so I yeah, take it. <laughs> and so like if anything, if they don't have it. You can just always side this thing out because it's, it's useless against them. Yeah. But that's actually pretty good. So is it art? So what's so positive about your deck? Positive about the deck. Um, I heard this in so many uh, videos on YouTube. They say that's actually a really consistent and um, really easy to win uh, helmet deck. The reason why it's called helmet is because it takes no skill. Plus, and it's very consistent that it can actually win duels faster. And what's negative about the deck? Negative? Um, hmm, the coin toss. <laughs> the, the, um, it's easy to read in this deck, and also uh, the coin toss is actually, uh, if you get the tails, you know what happens to a cup of um, ace and a uh, track card passes yesterday, you take 2,000 points, or uh, you, your point draws you across. That's pretty much all I see. Well, with that card, actually, you could just go ahead and just get either a win-win situation, no matter what. Because as long as you have the refugee or the Samochi, even if you gain or lose 2,000 life points, your points still have to take 2,000 no matter what. Or if it goes opposite, you have 10,000 or um, 20,000. And the more stuff sign out, out of all is that fact that if you don't have either those the Refugee or the Samoshi, you, you have a... Sorry, 12,000. <laughs> yeah, but if you have, and without without Refugee or Samoshi, you're kind of screwed, aren't you? Because you need those to get the lead. So, you gotta be very, so you just got to be very careful with them, because people can find a way to get rid of them. Anyway, that's it for my deck profile, and anything else you want to say? No, well, I was going to ask you. You got anything else to say? Nope, that's it. Alright, so this was Matthew's Nurse Refugee Burn deck profile. I hope you guys enjoy this. Yes, it does maybe have no skill, but it's fun, it doesn't matter, it's burn. So give this video a like, comment what you think about it, uh, share this to your friends, subscribe if you're new, like my Facebook page, and this is Fort Striker, and Matthew, signing off. Bye.